Hi everyone, I'm Bob the Tomato, and welcome to VeggieTales Live and Reloaded presents Where's the Fair Use? Because, well, in case you haven't noticed, an internet celebrity by the name of the Nostalgia Critic who odds are you might have heard of, because, you know, he's kind of everywhere. Uh, he had this little video go on about YouTube and its unfair copyright system, and we've come to YouTube's defense saying, uh, yeah, I know, you're not falling for it. Yeah, we're here to support the Nostalgia Critic, and all the other people who come out, uh, you know, lash out on YouTube, because really their copyright system's just unfair. Uh, for those of you who are unaware, YouTube goes around and then sees if something has a little snippet of music, video, anything that might belong to someone else, and copyright claim it on the company's behalf. Sometimes the companies approve of this, other times they don't, and other times, like Classic Media, who own the original VeggieTales, uh, they're in the middle. So, well, here's exactly what happens. Your video can either get copyright claimed, meaning that they're not really attacking you for it, in their own words, but what they can do is limit all your stuff, take the money away, and sometimes even make it impossible to watch in some countries like Germany. Ahem. That's happened to us. Ahem. So, there can be another part where they outright attack you for this in a thing called a copyright strike. A copyright strike is what happens when they see what's in your video is not belonging to someone else and they take it down no matter what. You get a strike on your channel, you can't really defend it. Well, you can, but it never works. Now, our channel hasn't gotten a copyright strike before. You can repeal it, though, but like I said, they never listen. These things also give lasting impacts, like you can't have videos longer than 15 minutes, sometimes even take your monetization away, meaning you can't make money off of a video anymore. Granted, our channel doesn't monetize videos yet, but we're trying. So you're probably wondering how this affects us. Well, it hasn't affected us as much as it has other people, but Archibald Asparagus is here to tell you all about what happened with us. Well, it first started off when our first episode of VeggieTales Abridged came out. Uh, take 38.5, I believe it is. It's been a long time since we've all seen that. <laughs> Probably our collective least favorite episode for obvious reasons. It even says in the beginning it's rough and choppy because it's the first one. Anyways, Classic Media came in and claimed our video despite the fact that pretty much at this point no one cares about Take 38. You're not making any money off of it. It's sort of in the public domain, but not really. So what they did is now they've disabled all monetization from it, and also they have made it impossible to refute, because the thing is, with companies like Classic Media, you can try and dispute your copyright thing, but they don't actually watch your video. They watch the first three seconds, and if it's footage from one of their things, they keep the claim instead. It doesn't matter if it has voices recorded over your own music, doesn't matter. If it starts off with their thing, it's fine. In fact, I don't know if you remember this, but a long time ago, well, not that long ago actually, it was more about three, four months ago, we uploaded an entire VeggieTales video in its entirety with a one minute intro of someone just sitting there staring at the camera. And Classic Media claimed it and we disputed it. And guess what? They repealed the claim. Companies don't really care about if it's really fair use or not. So what's fair use? Well, fair use is a copyright term, meaning that if you you can use someone else's uh, intellectual property or just their own invention or whatever, as long as it puts a new spin on it, it's transformative, and it doesn't hurt the income of the actual thing. So, in other words, putting your own dialogue over it, talking throughout about half of it, and of course giving a review of it, only using pieces of it, you can do that. However, stuff like these reaction videos where they're just watching it the whole time, silently, that is in the gray area. This is not in the gray area. VeggieTales Abridged uses about, I don't know, a quarter of the footage with none of the original dialogue or hardly any of the music, even sound effects, really. And they don't care. A lot of companies, not even just classic media, stuff like Fox, Hasbro, anything.
saying, oh, Turner Broadcasting especially, they don't care about fair use. They don't even acknowledge it. They just don't care. And guess what? YouTube doesn't come to our defense, but they come to the defense of all the companies that claim that they're being hurt by these small, independent, funded people, or sometimes even bigger people like the Nostalgia Critic or I Hate Everything with the Cool Cat situation. And they don't side with us, they side with the companies. Meaning that we are getting thrown under the bus and we can't do anything about it. That's right. They don't care. They don't care if we just leave. They don't care what we say. They can do whatever they want because YouTube is for companies, not for creativity. Now you're probably wondering why we're getting so mad. We don't know about... Well, you don't know about what else happened. Sure, we don't monetize our videos yet because, well, we don't really feel like it. We can't do that with pretty much any of our VeggieTales abridged, even though they monetize it and they're making money off our hard work. That's right, because when they get claimed, they put ads in there and they make 100% of the money off our hard work. We wrote it, we somewhat uh, started it, we found people to do it, and we, well, have people edit it. Classic Media didn't do anything. Sure, they own the original footage, they didn't make it, but they're profiting off of it. We are getting anything in return, and they get everything. Yep, all 8,000 views of the Winter Solstice Festival, we don't make a dime. That bugs me like crazy. Man, I just kind of need a breather. Someone else mind taking over for me? Alright, so... What's fair use again? Alright, you're not gonna work. Sorry, folks. <laughs> okay. Anyone else? I think I got it. Alright, so... Another thing is VeggieTales The Bridge is not the only thing of laws that has been affected. For some reason, Live and Reloaded has been blasted by copyright claims. Sure, a silly sing-along 3 when it was divided up into several parts, part 2 because of the instrumental version of Gator Community is no longer able to be viewed in Europe. Weird, I know, but get a lot of it. You're gonna love this one! <laughs> okay, so, the spark and the stone, which has nothing copyright claimed, by anything! It is no copyright ownership from anyone but us! Except those weird, two weird people who give the intro to it, we have never met them before. But they seem like nice people. They seem like fans of our show. Anyways, our company, a company, sorry, our channel run by, they got claimed by some company who claims that they own the entirety of the Spork and the Stone. They didn't write it, they didn't act in it, they didn't edit it. But they still feel like they own it. Now, the thing is, Spork in the Stone has no music at all. That's like one of the last ones with no score, sound effects, or anything. There's a small snippet of a song at the very end for the credits, and they think they own the entire thing. And you can't dispute it because the name of the company gives it away. Ad revenue for a third party. They don't care. They know it's illegitimate. But YouTube lets them go on without it anyway. They don't get any punishment. They don't get any reprimanding. They just get to go on stealing ad revenue from all the people who make hard work. And YouTube shames us for it. That is why VeggieTales Live and Reloaded, uh, VeggieTales Abridged, and everything else in between is coming to the defense of the YouTubers. Joining the Nostalgia Critics, where's the fair use campaign thing? We're not using hashtags because, let's face it, that's a dying fad and it's getting really annoying. Anyways, I hope you support our stride for finding fair use. Go to your own channels, make videos about your fair use problems, spread the word, people need to know. And in order for YouTube to get better, we need to make our situation known. If we make a big enough fuss about this, YouTube will eventually listen to us, and hopefully, they'll be able to fix that broken copyright system, which is not just damaging ours, not our channels, not just the Nostalgia Critics or John Thrawn or whoever, but it could be you! That's right, and if you're content creators out there, you're next!
It may not seem like it could happen soon, but it will! It will! Anything you make could be attacked! Doesn't matter if it's fair use or not! They will find you! They'll take ad revenue from you! They won't listen to your claims! And besides, let's talk about that claim system, shall we? Uh, maybe you're getting a little too angry! <laughs> oh, let me try this. Okay. Ah, <clears throat> oh, come on, Bob! I want to do it! Yeah, but you had enough already! You seem... kind of unstable! I'm fine! I'm fine! No, no, not really! Well, look, let, let, all right. Let's talk about this claim system. First, not only it's not based on any sort of logic or legal reason because it's made to be abused, that's been hammered into the ground already, everyone already knows, but it takes forever to get these things noticed! It doesn't matter if it's a copyright claim or a copyright strike, it can take an eternity for things to get figured out. I'm not kidding. <sighs> Look, for one of our claims that we made on the episode, oh, what was it, uh, uh, great, sorry, I forgot the episode. It's, uh, Spooky Tales, I think that's the one, uh, Live Veggie Tales Abridged, the one with Tales of the Crisper parody. We waited two months to get our claim recognized, our counterclaim recognized. We sent in a very good reason for this, well, legitimacy in uh, the character count and how much you can type in there, that's another thing. You only have like 200 words or the size of a tweet to make your case known. And then we, it says you're supposed to, you know, you're supposed to hear back within, I don't know, about a month. But it took two months to get any sort of attention from them. And guess what? They rejected it. So not only did we have to wait forever to get our completely legal video to be unclaimed, but it was a waste of time, and now they're even more angry at us because they copyright claimed a review of 321 Penguins too, A show they haven't touched in years, and I don't even think they're distributing anymore. They copyright claimed that! Really? <sighs> and not only that, but there's that we claimed it too. We counterclaimed it. And yeah, they let it go. That's fine. Three days later, they claimed it again. So once your claim is submitted, and once everything's fixed, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They could just claim it again and 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 again with no penalties at all. See, YouTube has this weird frame of mind where companies can just do whatever they want and their system is not flawed at all. Which is why we gotta make a big noise and big fuss about this in order for everything to be fixed. All right, I think that's everything we can say. I'll see you next month because, well, we're still trying to fight off all these claims and stuff, and it's, it's a long road. All right, see you in March.